Hello everyone! If you're looking at getting yourself a new smartphone, getting a Samsung flagship phone always ensures that you get high performance and a durable device. Today, we can help you with that with our list of the 7 best Samsung phones we came up with after countless hours of research and testing that are suitable for different users and their needs. The phones are not in any particular order, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss a thing. For more information or any of the Samsung phones listed in the video, we will place links in the description box below for you to check out. Let's get started! Starting off with the best overall, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra took the world by storm when it was released. If you're looking for a Samsung flagship phone that's strong in all areas, the S21 Ultra is the best overall and should be on top of your list. The coveted S21 Ultra comes with a powerful new Snapdragon 888 chip, 5G, a 6.8-inch 120Hz WQHD Plus OLED screen, a large battery, and a powerful camera setup. It also has a beautiful upscale look that you would always want from a Samsung flagship phone. When it was released, it was clear that Samsung gave it everything they had in the S21 Ultra, with many features like wireless charging, macro shooting mode, and 8K video recording. It also has Samsung DEX for users who want to pair their smartphone with their monitor or smart TV to use as a desktop. At the back of the S21 Ultra is a camera setup with a high-resolution 108MP sensor, a dual telephoto snapper with 3 and 10 times magnification optical zoom, and 100 times super resolution zoom capabilities. You can also take high-resolution selfies with its 40MP front-facing camera. If budget isn't a limitation for you, and you're looking for the absolute best, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is the best smartphone that you can buy right now. And next, for the best value, the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. If you're impressed with the S21 Ultra, but you need to save more money, the Galaxy S20 FE is a Samsung flagship phone with top-tier specs at a mid-range price point. To give you a bit of a background, Samsung developed the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition after its fans complained that the entire Galaxy S20 series last year came at too high a price that many Samsung fans couldn't reach. To appease its fan base, Samsung developed the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, a premium smartphone with some premium bits caught down. Even considering that it's basically a Samsung Galaxy S20 Lite, the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE is still hell of a device with great value for money. The S20 FE has on board a Snapdragon 865 chipset and has 5G connectivity, 120Hz AMOLED display, 6 or 8GB of RAM, and an impressive camera setup with a 12MP main camera, a 12MP ultra-wide camera, and an 8MP telephoto camera, while the front-facing camera has 32MP. Of course, it isn't as good as more expensive Samsung smartphones in some areas, but for the price, it's definitely a great deal. Next, the best for productivity, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. If productivity is your main priority, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 has many ways to make you more productive. Samsung's most daring and futuristic smartphone is basically a fully functional tablet slash smartphone. There aren't many differences between the Z Fold 3 and its predecessor, the Z Fold 2. But Samsung made many refinements to make it easier to use, more productive, and a better device overall. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 has the powerful Snapdragon 888 chipset, 12GB of RAM, and 256 or 512GB storage on board to provide the device with the power and capacity to complete various tasks. While it may not be the most powerful in the market, it's still got a lot of processing power. It also has a triple camera setup with one 12 megapixel main camera, one 12 megapixel telephoto camera, and one 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. For the display, you can also use the 6.2 inch outer display for simple tasks. But if you're looking to do more, you can unfold the phone to reveal the massive 7.6 inch screen. Furthermore, it's designed mainly for productivity, but it's also a blast to try gaming on the Fold 3's magnificent AMOLED display. Samsung has also made it the first foldable official IP rating for water resistance. It also has stylus support if you're a stylus lover. The foldable segment is still a niche market today, but with the great things that the Z Fold 3 can offer, the foldable smartphone concept will make its way more into the mainstream. Next, the best for stylus fans, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy Note line might reportedly be ending. But the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is a worthy final product for the premier Samsung smartphone line. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is in the upper echelon of Samsung smartphones. But if you're fine with the sheer size and expensive price tag that comes with it, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is an unrivaled smartphone for stylus fans. 
It has a 6.9 inch quad HD plus display, a massive 12 GB amount of RAM for multitasking, 5G connectivity, 128 or 256 or 512 gigabytes for storage, and the Snapdragon 865 Plus for immense processing power. It also has a 4500 mAh battery. Samsung also nailed it with the design of the Note 20 Ultra as the phone looks stunning. For the camera setup, it has dual sensors at the back, a 12-megapixel zoom lens capable of 50 times hybrid zoom, and a 12-megapixel wide-angle lens that you can use to take 8K videos. Samsung also fixed the camera issues on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, which means the camera on the Note 20 Ultra is better. And next, for the best mid-range phone, the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. Yeah, we know that the previous items on the list have been high-end Samsung devices, but don't worry, we also have a product for those looking in the mid-range smartphone market. For the best mid-range phone from Samsung, there's no way that you can go wrong with the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. The Galaxy A52 5G offers a great, affordable package that performs well in all areas. Don't underestimate the A52 5G. While it's good in many areas, it also has a few aspects that truly shine such as its 6.5-inch 120Hz Super AMOLED display, IP67 water resistance, and a LED 64-megapixel camera with OIS. It also has dual SIM, a headphone jack for those who like wired earphones, and a pretty long-lasting 4,500 mAh battery. The A52 5G runs on the Snapdragon 750G processor and also has 128GB of storage and 6GB of RAM, which isn't that big but will do the job more often than not. If you want a phone with great performance in all the right areas but isn't that expensive a purchase, the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G, Samsung's best mid-range phone, is an easy choice. And now, for the best for ergonomics and style, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 wouldn't wow you with its performance, but it doesn't need to, as the main selling point of the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is its compact form and looks factor. Looking at the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, the first thing you will really notice is its small size coupled with its durable build. Looking at it, you can see that the Galaxy Z Flip 3 is a premium smartphone. Its display is a 6.7-inch folding 120Hz AMOLED 2X and a 1.0-inch Super AMOLED external screen. The Flip 3 is powered by a Snapdragon 888 partnered with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of non-expendable storage. It also has Wi-Fi 6E connectivity and IPX8 water resistance. The Flip 3's camera is equipped with a slightly underwhelming 12-megapixel main camera and a 12-megapixel wide-angle camera at the back, and a 10-megapixel selfie camera. But if ergonomics and style are your priority, and the camera isn't a deal-breaker for you, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 might be the phone for you. And now for the best for multimedia, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is the dark horse of the Samsung Galaxy S21 line. It's not the most popular variant, but it pulls its weight by being a well-rounded smartphone. If you're a fan of movies, music, photos, and other various forms of multimedia, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is the best that you can get from Samsung. With a 6.7-inch 120Hz AMOLED HDR10 Plus display, watching videos and looking at pictures is a blast with the S21 Plus, as the screen can display colors well and show amazing detail that you can't see in cheaper smartphones. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus has a Snapdragon 888 processor and an Adreno 660 GPU, coupled with 8GB of RAM and 128 or 256GB of non-expendable storage. Other than that, the S21 Plus also has a great triple lens camera that can take 8K videos, 5G, an in-screen fingerprint scanner, and a 4800 mAh battery. Of course, with these specs, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus is expensive, but you definitely get what you pay for in terms of entertainment and performance. There are many cheaper smartphones out there, but if you get a Samsung, you get a premium smartphone with a guarantee of performance, longevity, and reliability. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and check out more of our videos. Also, let us know your favorite Samsung phone in the comments below or if we missed one you think should have been on the list. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.